CCA approved interactive text. FA1. Recording financial transactions. Chapter 1. Business transactions and documentation. Lesson 1. Types of business transaction. Lesson 1, Part 1, Businesses. In your studies for the ACCA Foundations in Accountancy Qualification, and specifically for this paper on transaction accounting, you will be concerned with business transactions. There is no one definition of a business, although we all know more or less what it is. Broadly speaking it is a commercial organization, large or small, which exists to make money or profits for its owners. It may make this money by manufacturing and or selling goods or services. Lesson 1, Part 2, Business Transactions Wherever property changes hands there has been a business transaction. The main types of business transactions are sales and purchases. Business transactions are of two main types. Cash and credit. Sales and purchases occur in two different ways, by cash or on credit. A sale takes place at one of two points in time. 1. Cash sales. If the sale is for cash, the sale occurs when goods or services are given in exchange for immediate payment in notes and coins or by check or plastic card. 2. Credit sales. Goods are ordered and delivered before payment is received. If the transaction is on credit, the sale occurs when the business sends out an invoice for the goods or services supplied, cash is received later. A purchase also takes place at one of two points in time. 1. Purchases for cash. If the goods are paid for in cash then the purchase occurs when the goods and cash exchange hands. 2. Purchases on credit. If the goods are bought on credit, the purchase normally occurs when the business receives the goods, accompanied by an invoice from the supplier. Cash is paid later. A cash transaction is one where the buyer pays cash to the seller at the time the goods or services are transferred. A credit transaction is a sale or a purchase which occurs some time earlier than cash is received or paid. With credit transactions. The point in time when a sale or purchase is recognized in the accounts of the business is not the same as the point in time when cash is eventually received or paid for the sale or purchase. There is a gap in time between the sale or purchase and the eventual cash settlement. It is possible that something might happen during that time which results in the amount of cash eventually paid, if any, being different from the original value of the sale or purchase on the invoice.